Okay, folks, here it is, part two of my Tower of Power crafting tower that I created with the Dollar Tree crates and Dollar Tree pegboards. This bad boy holds a ton of supplies from paints and scissors and pens and blades to waxes and water bottles, stain, glue, rubber bands, you name it, it's on here and I've added more since this video. You can't imagine what's on there and it is heavy and it holds a ton. I also went vertical up my wall. I like to keep my supplies close at hand when I'm working and so I have them all ready to go when I go live. My name is Susie Lee and I am with Bellalina Boutique and I'm going to show you in this quick sped up video how I made part two of my crafting Tower of Power and I hope that you enjoy this and I hope you find it useful. Let's start with the base that I made in part one. It's on a turntable that I put this little wooden block set from the Dollar Tree um, all around the base, this Rubbermaid base that I got at Walmart. And they're pretty inexpensive and super, super handy and they work really, really well. Um, with the weight of what's going on with the little Dollar Tree crates and how I've assembled them with the paints, you get a ton of paint supplies at your fingertips and the weight of it holds nicely on the base and um, it just spins really easily. I've had absolutely no problems with it. I've had it for more than a year and a half now and uh, what I'm doing is showing you some options here that you could go up another level even if you wanted to. You could store ribbons in there if you wanted or more paints. But because of the fact that I thought it would be a little bit too high with the pegboard um, segments that I'm going to be putting on there, I decided I would forego the next level up and that I would use that in a different um, crafting unit. See how nicely that spins? and that I would just use these squares that I got from the Dollar Tree. They're square pegboard, plastic, and they're a dollar-ish, <laughs> the dollar and a quarter each. And I'm picking out a stencil and I am choosing what goes with my craft room. I have black and white in my craft room, a lot of damask, and so I am picking out a damask from Vintage Retail Therapy, of which I am a retailer. And you can find many of these um, stencils that I sell in my Etsy boutique at bellalinaboutique.etsy.com. Okay, now you're going to see me in the sped up part just start to stencil the white acrylic paint with my Essential Stencil stencil brush. I love these brushes. I'm also an affiliate with Essential Stencils. You can find their information on my Facebook page in my link tree. And um, these are probably the best stencil brushes and paint brushes I've ever used. I really, really like them. Anyway, here you see me just going through quickly, quickly, um, stenciling the white damask on the black. And I just think it looks so sharp. I mean, this is where form meets uh, function, and I just think uh, your craft room should be pretty and represent who you are and what you like. And this is something that I would have in my home and also in my craft room. Okay, I've lost count. I don't remember how many I've gone through now. I'm thinking I'm about three or four. And I'm just going to continue stenciling all of the pieces until... I can form the cube that we are going to put together that's going to go on the top of this power tower. <laughs> that's what we're calling it. Gee, I bet you never thought I could move that fast. <laughs> I'm getting it done in this video, right? Okay, once the four, well, actually, there are five squares that are done in this piece. 
I'm going to assemble them with my zip ties. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a zip tie at the top and at the bottom of each square and connect them. It's pretty simple, you guys. It couldn't be any more simple. And in the end, I don't even really connect it to the base because I like to be able to have options and move my things around and reconfigure them if need be. So I'm going to put these four squares together and I'm just going to lay them on the top. And the weight of what's going to go on them is going to be so heavy that it's not really going to need to be glued down. So I like that option. I really like the option of being able to move and reassemble and reconfigure my craft space if I need to. And I'm really liking how the white damask against that black pegboard turned out. Just think of how many options you could have. You could do it in a hot pink or lime green or just think of all the different options you could do. You could do it in any kind of pattern that you like or that would match your decor in your craft room from something more detailed like this to something as simple as polka dots. And now you're going to see me adding the stuff. And boy, did I add the stuff. You should see it fully equipped now. I've got baskets and I've got trays on it. It's amazing. Now for the top, you can leave the top partially um, hinged, if you will. You can just put zip ties on two ends and so that you can open it up and you can use the inside of that cube to store extra things if you need to, extra paints and whatnot. And um, also on top of the cube, once you've secured uh, the top on there, you can put your paints, which I have. A lot of my paints, as you saw in the beginning of this video, are on the top. Now, spring for the better, rubber made Lazy Susan at Walmart. You won't be sorry. I've had this for two years, nearly, and it hasn't given me any troubles at all, even with the additional um, cube that I put on top with all of the things, it's still it's still kicking and still very useful to me. So make sure you have a place to spin it around. And that is it, folks. There is my power tower. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it inspired you uh, and that you will start to get organized this year a little bit in your craft space. I think uh, this would be great for painters, sewers, card makers, scrapbookers, really any kind of crafter. This is really handy to have next to you while you're crafting. And most of the supplies came from the Dollar Tree. And I love that these cubes come in different shapes. They come in a rectangular shape as well as this cube. And personally, I love options. Um, and I love being able to um, move that cube around. I didn't connect it for a reason. I like having the option of being able to reconfigure my craft space if I need to. And um, so that's that's the way I, I created it. And hopefully you'll be able to find something that's suitable for your craft space. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe and make sure that you're following me in all the places mentioned in the description of this video, YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, TikTok, and Etsy. Don't forget to go back and watch part one of this video, how I made the base. Hope to see you soon.